it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, that with this blow might be the be-all be all and, and the end all here. But here, upon this bank and this shoal of time, we'll jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment Just here. <laughs> He's here in double trust. First, as I am a kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murder shut the door, not, not bear the knife myself. myself. Besides, this doctor hath borne his faculty so meekly, hath been so clear in his great office that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet tongued against the deep damnation of his taking off. And pity shall glow the horrid deed in every <laughs> eye to see the tears of the crown I had no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting, vaulting ambition, ambition. Mm. which overleaps itself and falls on the other. How now, what news? Why have you left the chamber? <laughs> Hath he asked for me? Know you not he has? We will proceed no further in this business. We have, we have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people. Which should be worn now in the newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk? Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? Hath it slept since? <laughs> and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? <laughs> from this time such, I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act in valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that esteemest the ornament of life and live a coward in thine own esteem? Prithee, peace! I dare do all that become a man. Who dares do more is none. What? Beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me. When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. I have given suck, and I know how tender it is to love the babe that knows me. I would, were it smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed the brains out! Had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail. We fail, but screw your courage to the sticking place. And we'll not fail. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quip? Bring forth men, children only. For thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have mocked with blood those sleepy two of his own chambers and used their very daggers that they have done it? Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? I'm settled and bend, a, and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. <coughs> Away, and mock the time with fair show. The false face must hide, but the false heart doth know.
Remember this grizzly beast? <laughs> when she is angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. <laughs> and though she be but little, she's fierce. Oh, a lovely boy. She never had so sweet a changeling. Remember? Do I entice you? I love thee not, and therefore pursue thee. Do I even for that? Do I love you more? Do I not, in plainest truth, tell you that I do not nor cannot love you? <laughs> Miss Jeff. Do I entice you? I must confess. I know not by what power I am made bold. Well, you can do this. For love, I follow him. <laughs> Of her. Oh, remember? <laughs> I must confess. I know not by what power I am made bold. <laughs> Just the opportunity of it. You do mean mischief. Lovers to bed? To bed? In my and new jollities, I will yield my virgin patent up. <gasps> Come, trusty soul! <laughs> She durst not lie with this lack love, this kill courtesy. Love stories written, is, written in love's richest book. But who is here? <sighs> A faithful pair of lovers. Nay, not so. Not so? Remember? <laughs> my love. Thou art my love, I think. <laughs> say you? Well, I must confess, I know not by what power I am made bold. Give me your hands. <laughs> thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. To say the truth, reason and love keep little company together nowadays. Uh, I understand not what you mean by this. I have had a most rare vision. I thought I was enamored of an ass. <laughs> Good troth, you do me wrong. Wilt thou leave me? Do not so. I love thee, by my life I do. Set thy heart at rest. Things growing are not ripe until their season. So far be distant, and good night. I alone will go. You perhaps may think I alone do feel the injury. How can it be said that I am alone when all the world is here to look on me? Poor souls. Abate thy hour! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gentle day!
the unbreathed memories, the tedious minutes. But what of that? These things seem small and indistinguishable. <laughs> Making it momentary as a sound, swift as a shadow, short as any day. A merrier hour was never wasted. Now do I wish for it, love it, and long for it. A foolish heart that I leave here behind. It is truly now we chid the hasty foot of time. Give me your hands if we be friends. When all is done, fair and well. I am that Mary. I am as honest. I am so dwarfing. I am so dwarfing. Thou art changed. Thou art translated. Take time to pause. Remember. Remember.